Hello everybody and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. My name is Michaelito. And uh, what did we do last time? I kind of missed a couple days here, so I'm a little outdated. Uh, I think we did some mission about gibbity gook, gibbity gook. I don't know. Uh, where we had to have Emmett come with us to sneak in to a cave. Once again, I don't remember. Um, we should have more missions with, uh, or quest with, what's her name? Poppy? Yeah, I think it's Poppy. So we can probably finish up some things with her. Go meet our boy, Sebastian, and I, I don't know, apologize. We didn't, we didn't really like end off on good terms. So let's get, let's get to, uh, figuring out what we're doing here. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. Lost child. Meet Natty. And I don't want to meet Natty. Well, let's go meet up with, uh, no, Sebastian. Get our sister curse unlocked. Where is he at? The catacombs. Catacombs? All right. Looks like we're off to the catacombs, wherever that may be. I think I need. Oh. I just saw a little chat bubble at the very bottom of the map as I closed it. Is this where we're going? This is it. Here we go. Here's our boy Sebastian. And a bit unsettled. You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in Excuse a report me? by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them. So I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. Catacomb. For Anne. I need to see her. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Catacomb! Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I, I didn't, didn't say nothing. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. Okay, can you stop saying catacomb is really bugging the crap out of me? Let's just say it like five more times, right? I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Um, Try not to lose your nerve just Oh, yet. I can't see any of my abilities. My bad. Uh, I was grabbing screenshots. There we go. Look! Spell oh, uh. Confringo. 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 I was ready for spiders in the morning. Oh, poor fella. Can't land. At least now we know we're not alone in here. Confringo stops it. Excuse me. No. Yeah, the spiders aren't. Do I insects. need to go up there? I don't need don't to go up start. there, do I? It's kind of suggesting it. Accio. Come on. Uh, Sebastian, can you move? This room is taller than it looks. Finding a chest oh. in an inconspicuous loft. There's Brilliant. nothing up there of importance either. Get a coon. Hey there, fella. I don't want to see spiders in the morning. My brain is disgusted. Excuse me as I try to figure out how to play again. Ooh. So do I go this way or that way? I mean that way was locked, that way is just open. Oh, this is still a locked way. What you and said? then more spiders behind me. Oh god. Descendo. Oh, miss. Hey, Chris did not even work on the spiders very well. Are you dead? 
Oh. <laughs> All this to get a curse. You with me, Sebastian? All this grass. It no longer feels like I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems. Often cave ins. We had no reason and then to come over here. Were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine though. Catacombs. Now yep. This is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. What's grandeur? With a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. There's something here by the altar. Yeah, what? What? Oh, journal. I foolishly mentioned the relic in my report and was reminded to leave it where it may lay. But research must come before my filthy the rules. I sense something about this relic. I was told that those chosen by English Oaks wand have powerful intuition. I believe it. Therefore, when no one else was looking, I acted and I conjured two barricades to isolate the relic. Ancestors forgive me, but I used their very bones as the key. Oh. I plan to return it, but first I must ready myself for our next assignment. Learning Imperious Curses. Oh, the Imperium Imperious Curse, there we go. A spell the spell is said to serve well against enemies. What did you find? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, what do you mean what I find? You know what I found. Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The students I don't even need to read it. The space beyond the great room, which means this can't be a dead <coughs> end. I have the report if you want to have a look. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Okay, let's get started. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Do I need to pull Look, these out? Stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Nope. Oh, in this case, no fun. Descender. This archway's been barricaded. We can find a way through. Probably no need for me to even open the wait, we're still alive? Akio. More bones. Akio. What do I what do I do? Do I put them here? Or Maybe I take him over there. But what, what do I do here? Oh, there we go. Buns on the left and buns on the right. Okay. Do I need more? Yes, yes. Wait, I need more? Excuse me? Why'd you break? Did you hear that? We're in the tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. How many more of these do I need? Is that all of them? You've done it. Nice. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Ah, you're funny, nice. Sebastian. Hilarious, we even. On further, I've just realized something. That we're walking into the a trap? The diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. 
places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. How do you know it all of a sudden? It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Use <clears throat> your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Uh, looks like I'm writing a four backwards. Pfft, not easy to learn. What a liar. There we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Well, I mean, you just taught me the spell. Let me uh, actually equip it. Okay, it's supposed to be underneath my control, right? So is it going to fight for me? Um... I guess. Okay, this is anticlimactic. One sec, one sec. Got it. Another barricade. Uh. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. How gracious of you. I try. Ooh, what are you? Coins? Nice. Ooh. Good bring them. Tomorrow our creepy collies. This looks different than what we faced before. Now we're in there. I think I like that curse now. Oh, gotta roll, gotta roll. You didn't roll. Is that what I really hit? I don't think that's what I actually hit. Oh, are you looking at me now? Come on, I'm looking at you. Just let me let me kill you. I think you're the boss. Right? Are you are you done? That has to mean something. Ooh, look at your eyes. They're actually glowing. Oh, okay, you're okay. You lost your cuteness. It wouldn't let me like lock onto it or attack it. Never knew spiders could make such a mess. Bit dramatic, isn't it? Nothing over here either. Ah, actually, more bones. Possibly. No. No bones at all. Maybe here? Hmm. Why did we have to come over here? Maybe that. Uh, burn? Hello? Did I just walk through here? Oh. I thought it was blocking me. What happened? Perhaps we need to pull the handles in the order of the symbols on the tablets. What? What are you insinuating? What are you talking about? What handles? What's this over here? Well, just this another chest. Has suffered decay. Catacomb. Just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Uh. Well, there's probably a legendary in here. Let me uh try to grab that. I didn't want to grab all this extra crap, but I'm already here. I thought I was, you know, beating the game to the punch of getting things done, but I guess I'm just exploring. Dude, my bit rate's going to crap. Why? Akio. Perhaps we need to pull the order of the symbols on the tablets. 
What? Order. Well, I guess that's either one or two, maybe you're three. Or you're three. You're not helping me. So, if I go from the right side, goes to B thing, and uh, so maybe this and that. That worked. Keep going. Oh, okay. I guess that really uh, clarifies the lack of bones around here. So, where's triangle? Circle thing. Hold that and weird thing from Zelda. There we go. Can we move on now? You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. Oh, so funny. Ha ha. Huh. Well, you know, there's like one more left, so I might as well just open it. Nothing. There's nothing in it. Broken hopes and dreams. I see why Slytherin Lots of sweat. Was so entranced with this place. Why were you bro? Yeah, Crucio the venomous Gurus. I can't even read his name. Whoa, hi. I don't know what I'm looking at, buddy. That's one way to get rid of that health. I've been forgetting there's an ancient magic meter, and it's like basically a special ability, and I've been sleeping on it. Like so. Wait, why is there still so many of them? Never end. Yeah, I thought that too. Weird, right? What is going on here? Can I not? There we go. Yo, is that a warp gate? Oh, that is a door of some sort though, right? We see one of those in the woods when we uh forgot who that kid's name is. Dead end. The one with nothing. the uh that head that was missing. Don't give up yet. The relic contains abundant potentials. What? Its possibilities could benefit not only wizard kind, but the world. But the dark sacrifice would involve to release its intent may... What? Realize its intent may be too great. Until we know more, please do not remove this relic. Oh. Uh, the relic. Look. Look at it. It's right it here. Mean? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. We should leave the relic, or should we take the relic? Let's take it. I'm willing to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. And we can see what happens. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I thought we were taking it. Why, why are you taking I it? I must keep this relic secret. 
especially for my uncle. I, I hope nothing bad happens. Is that ominous? Oh dear. Ominous. We're in Sounds trouble. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. I can't believe this. And chill, chill, we're friends, guys. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. I want to take the relic. I don't want Sebastian to have it. Impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind, something has to. I need your help. You do? You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I'm being such a kisser. But I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. You probably are. Sebastian, we're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. Okay, bye ominous. Um I find it weird that you were down here, but okay. I really gotta run all the way out. Well, what happened back then? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Yes. Is that it? Yes. I told him we ought to give you this chance. That the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Why are you tripping? Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. I don't know how you get in here. Akio, I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. He just doesn't understand. And I didn't want to worry him all over again. Oh, uh, maybe that's how I wait. What? Did I come here? No. I got sidetracked. <laughs> now I'm confused on where I'm at. Here we go. This is the way out. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Why are you so torn up even about though this? We agreed to it all. It's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. You're still talking well, about it, Sebastian. For Anne. Do I have to run there? Can I actually fly there? Can I fly there? Can I just... Oh. My gosh. We had to run? Harry, Harry Potter's... Hogwarts Legacy. What do you want to call this? They really know how to draw out a quest. I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. Uh, there's smoke. Things aren't good. Oh, no, this isn't good. <coughs> what is it? Smoke over there by the hamlet. Feldcroft's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. No! Nice. Who's behind me? You're behind me. Stop it. I'm not doing so good. 
I'm not doing so good. I have help and I'm not doing so good. Gosh! Okay. Don't you dare. No, you better not. Okay, that was gonna bug the crap out of me. Simple spell. Sister. Still an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. Stay, stay away from her. You saved her, but stay away. What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. Uh, you know, uh, I can't say it might have been the wrong choice because I think Sebastian would just be really upset. I, he's done everything for his sister, and that's all. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home, from my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Yeah, uh, can we talk? Can we talk? I mean, it's about Sebastian. You know, he's a he's, he's a real good guy, kid. You know. Why are you running away from me? Pardon me, Mr. Salah. Sebastian. What Sebastian give me that look. Inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Maybe. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Whoa, chill, chill. I mean, Why, Sebastian. what if I just cast a spell on you right now? I mean, just saying. I think I know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the snidgets. Meet me in the forbidden forest. All right, Poppy, been waiting on you. Man, I uh, I don't I don't know how I feel about that one. I mean, I, you know, you, you know, because you know, ominous is just all about helping his sister, and that that was kind of brutal. Like, you think you'd be able to overlook uh, a slight problem of a curse? Get a broom upgrade? I gotta think about that for a second. Yeah, let's grab our broom upgrade, sell our extra... Excuse me, can you not spawn in around me? So. Hello again. Hello. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade. Can I purchase... <laughs> costs a bit more than you have. How kind of you to, uh... Recognize how much money I have. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, what Hope else do you, you got? Again. You got uh not a word with me? Okay. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. So I have to buy the upgrade in order to Ooh, kitty. Hmm. Healing. I don't need no wig and welds, I just need to pet a cat. Exactly. Okay, I want to hit the enchanted loom. 
identify these pieces of clothes and head back over there to see Poppy. Oh yeah, I should probably check on the Thrissel, uh calf, is that what we call him? No, you're an enchanted loom. We don't, we don't want to deal with you. Ooh, I think the calf should be ready. So we'll check on over here. That's where I choose breed. Oh, 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 there it is. Oopsie, I put hit escape way too many times. Hey there, little fella. Hi. Want Uncle Bigsby to feed you? Yeah, you good boy or girl. I don't, I, yeah, you good boy. There you go. Y'all, y'all, you're so cute. I should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. I shall let Deke know. Deke will be impressed, yes? Well, hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts, but sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts Ooh. that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. So did Deke your master die? master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Yep. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. Aww. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story, and now yourself. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Isn't that phoenix like an internal bird, if you really think about it? Like, they die and then they're reborn or is there only like so many deaths and rebirths that they can have before they just don't rebirth now let's go see what poppy wanted meet in the forbidden forest yes please sounds dangerous i love danger danger is my middle name Barnacle Danger Bigsby. Hello. This place looks a little familiar. Perhaps from a show with a wizard in it. I can do this. Can do this. Uh -oh. They will want to help. What are you psyching yourself up for? Is this where we're meeting the oh, centaurs? Oh, Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. No, they won't. I'm not sure about this. I can't imagine they're fond of being surprised. We don't have a choice if we want to help the Snidgets. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... Omniscience? What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... We've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Why are yes, you saying it like that? You're absolutely right. 
Something we'll happened. Meet with them. Tell them about the snidgets and I'm sure to all be fu- uh. Your wand down. You're wiser than that. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you. Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No! no hostile. We're here because we need your help. Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Go, oh, don't be so violent. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while uh -oh. you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. I mean, they I slaughtered a lot of goblins. <laughs> Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. Three? Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now. Follow me before Golden I... Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means yet. Please help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. The henge? I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. Wow, things got really spicy I there for a understand. second. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find them? Because we conjure them? Aren't they common? Isn't moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him. What with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. All right. You know what I find. Ooh, we've got a little bit of stargazing over here real quick. Just grabbing and get the, uh, Portion of 100% of the game out the way. I do want to come back and 100% this later on. Um, all the way around. There we go. Draco. Got him. Confringo. Yes, sir, ma'am. Pleasure to meet you. My name Welcome is Barnacle Bigsby. Excuse me as I run all the way up here to talk to you. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. Oh, As wait. you know, I was headmistress in uh, my time. My portrait hangs in the, the headmaster's office. 
In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the Headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this Headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. I, I You'll agree. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. I guess I can't do that now. What? Okay, back to Sebastian. Man, we're just getting little snippets of quests here and there. Aren't we? I mean, at least this is easier. At least I can figure out where Sebastian is. Did you speak with my uncle? Yeah. I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft, nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my home twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form, and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. To reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. What crest are you sending to Anne? What did you mean you'd send Anne a crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... We just lost our parents and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions, a box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family. Jewelry, cards, old photographs. She got to her favorite, a handmade crest, and without a second thought, she handed it to me. This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it will be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the Headmaster if we needed his help. Okay. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I mean, I'm going to learn some pretty awesome news. spells, just saying. Do 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 ah oh, demi guys. Mine now, demi guys. Oh yeah, so I started watching Fantastic Beast, and it's a really great show. I mean, apart from anything that involves Hogwarts or Harry. Now here, Professor Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lodgok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? It's here. Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. All right. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I've actually met Scrope, but I'm not sure he'll tell me. He's rather devoted to the Black family. He is, so you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing, a polyjuice potion. 
You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Oh, Wait, no. doesn't Polyjuice Potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion oh, to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of oh. the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Okay, let's get to chugging. Look, 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 look. Yeah, fix my clothes, please. Thank you. How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. Oh, I've taken no. the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. Dude. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. I hope I can get a couple of screenshots and maybe some sort of angled as Professor Black. That would make a great thumbnail. Do you have a moment, Professor? Uh -huh. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion and I, well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I would decide what's I best. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> <clears throat> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. Oh, and thank no. you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine wow. which student gets this rather unenviable task. Greetings. I mean, out of my way, children. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. Now, oh, this is hilarious. Approaching. Gareth, can I talk to you like this? Gareth. Uh, Mr. Weasley, what are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor, yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago, muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. Ah, yes. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Bah! That's enough from you. Just know that bah. I have eyes and ears bah. everywhere. On your way, Mr. Weasley. Bah! Well, there's one for my diary. <laughs> Headmaster sprinting through the courtyard. Stand proud, purebloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. Headmaster, here, yeah. what could he want? Ominous. Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste, uh, I find. 
Are you feeling all right, sir? No. Nope. You don't seem yourself. I assure you I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Oh, that's Has funny. Mustache paste. Professor, a word? Frick! Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... We could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What? Nonsense. That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes, sir. I have a mm -hmm. good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Do I threaten? Do I assume the role or what? No, I should think you'd have role. better things to do with your time. <clears throat> now, where's my elf? I... Good day, Professor. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? <clears throat> I wonder oh, I just daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. Oh no, it's the headmaster and he's coming this way. Uh... Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. I forget, did I meet her in the it's library? Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Nonverbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with ah. my uh, heavy books. She was in the library. <laughs> Sp speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Something seems a little off with the headmaster. You think? Bro. You call that a shine on those boots? Do Professor, I need to speak to you. Man. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might um There's speak armors with you fighting about each other right Professor now. Fink. God. Oh. Yep. Very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. He's handling secret ministry matters. And I don't I miss him. I realize that, and I'd like to keep it that way. I see. But sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. Nah, it's actually the other way around. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <coughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. Uh, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. Oh, you A are... A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never... <laughs> That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. That's what I was thinking. Hope you call the workers in the house help. Can I crouch? I can't crouch. I wish I could crouch. Walk around it. There we go. Scrope. Scrope! Oh, greetings, Master. 
Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrub swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. How hmm. dare, dare you question, question me? me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. It's to do with strength. It's to do with my family region. It's to do with my purity of blood. Duh? I mean, that seems to be the, the biggest emphasis going on right now is everything about being pure blood. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. It is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. <laughs> oh, very well. And your prayer? Toujours pure. Toujours pure. Uh, there is another matter, Scrope. I confiscated this filthy diary from a student. It smells of squid and seawater. Oh, Apollonia's diary. <clears throat> that is quite a surprise, Master. What do you wish Scrope to do with this treasure? Uh, uh, rubbish. Right. Whatever you wish, Scrope. It's your treasure. Now, off with you. Nice stream. Thank you, Noah. Goodness, what's she been up to, Apologies, man? potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. <laughs> <laughs> So right now I'm uh this is not my character. My character is actually a kid with no eyebrows, but I'm in some I drink some potion to look like the headmaster. Ah, <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. Interact. Uh, what brings you right. over to Twitch, I can't Noah? If it worked. Signing. You are here. Yeah, Good. I'm here. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Halo. We need to speak with him. Wow, that was short. <sighs> Why did he ch- Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband <laughs> is dead. Oh, he what a shame. Him. Oh, I'm he terribly must sorry, Mrs. Named? Bickle. <laughs> Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? Um... He must be around here somewhere. When did you last see him? Archie was home with his father while I was out. His satchel's missing. Hopefully he's just gone wandering. As he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. Oh, uh, we'll find you some, ma'am. I'm a we'll hero. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. Hey, no, what's your what favorite... What am I going uh... to do? House for Harry Potter. Do you even watch Harry Potter? Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Archie home. Yeah, we, we will go get Archie. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. Okay, here we go. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Halo. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were Oh, you too don't want to buy it? What did Officer Singer say about you, the letter? I will tell you, I've been streaming her. this game about me, like twice a week that it was not for about enough. two hours a day. It is a shame that well, not two hours a day, but speak. every every time. Your so that's like up to four hours. And I don't even know if I'm near done with this game. It's more. so large, like as this far as quests go. Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie, Archie Bickle. He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. 
I've been stuck on rank resurgence. I'm gonna start watching stream. I'm gonna start watching stream more. Support. Who's stream? Your stream? My stream? Their stream? All stream. I'm sorry, Natty. Were you talking? Revelio. There! At his footprints. He went this way. Your stream. I oh, cool. Awesome. Thanks, bud. By now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Oh, there's Men this like uh, would not one think game. About killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. And I, please shut up. Uh, there's this game called Battle Bits. I've been hooked on it. It's basically like uh, Roadblocks Battlefield. Wolves. Prepare for a fight. Defender. Freaking love it. It runs like butter. It's super smooth. And I'm pretty sure even your computer can run it. If you ever get interested in it, let me know. Uh oh. Also, have you seen Fantastic Beasts? With that wolf pack. Uh, I was kind of talking about that earlier and kind of we forgot to around. finish up talking about it. But yeah, uh, Fantastic Beasts is like in the uh, Wizard World. Archie Satchel. It's why would he leave it really behind? Really good show. He I hear there's like a one, or there's a, there's it's like three movies. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Revelio. Archie went this way. Archie went this way. But yeah, Fantastic Beasts is like freaking awesome. It's the wizarding stuff, but without Potter. About this. Halo must have a reason for pursuing Achi. And I guess this game is I like heavily Archie implemented saw. via or not implemented, but influenced by I hope uh, he didn't see Harlow kill his father. Fantastic Beast. He would never wow, you guys are making it so it. hard to have a chain of thought. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Revelio. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. Who is Harlow? Harlow? Oh, is that a Thirstle? Yeah, it's a Thirstle. Hey, buddy. Thirstles. Oh, Thirstles? They are beautiful. I'm gonna are murder the enunciation and pronunciation of the name I non -stop. witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. What? I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it this was This is why I hate yesterday. Natty. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... <clears throat> Let us... Rebellion. We must find Achi. Are we there yet? We, we gotta do some fighting? Looks like we're gonna be doing some fighting. Gotta actually hurt like physically. Bombada. Explosor. Potato. Stupid. Ooh. Can bring up. Ah. Back up. Oh. Glaces. Expelliarmus. Crucio for getting curse. Yo. Yo. It's like actually going out and hitting him. Yeah. Archie, are you in here? Oh. It's one of those big tents. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. Oh, hello. <laughs> Whoopsie. 
You don't think he saw it happen, do you? He's just a child. We should release him. This is the sort of thing that could draw unwanted attention. Harlow will decide what to do with it, oh. Mr. Dallas. Da 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 da. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Oh look, I had to do no fighting. Oh, never mind. I have a lot of fighting to go on over here. Okay, which one's more important? I think the one in the robes right there. Friend Haggerty? I mean, that's an important name, right? Anyways, I'm gonna take a photo. Akio! Okay, that's how that works. Uh, I think. Oh no! We got more coming in. Come on! Stupid one! There we go. Descendo! Venite! Man, I'm actually doing some pretty decent damage. Descendo. Uh, can I can I can I attack him? Bro, where are you attacking? Who am I attacking? Goodness. Come here. Are we good? Is everything fine? No, nobody can help you. Where are you? How do I get to down here? Okay. Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us Come to on. find you. Alahamora? Oh, Alahamora? Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Thank you. Goodness. Alahamora. The mini game that nobody wants to play is the Alahamora mini game. There are so many doors you have to unlock, and this is the puzzle. Regardless if you learned one, two, or three for Alahamora, same puzzle. I'm Uncle Tarlo. He killed my father. We're so sorry, to die? We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. <laughs> now let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Hey, also know how do you like this mic quality? Can I? Hello? Say, like, can I move? <laughs> oh, Archie, you're here! Oh, oh, you're safe, Mother. Oh, Mother. Father's friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Ray, Mr. Filbert, and I think they also said Otto's name. I know. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Otto's name is yes, familiar, but I don't remember who he is. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. He's already after me, It right? may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about no. your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. What kind of name is Archie? Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn I think more that about was Mr. the wisest Bickle's thing you've ever Harlow said, Natty. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. I'd rather not hear from you at Thank all. Thank you for your help today. Hey, do I actually get to figure out where the head office is now? 
because that was bothering the crap out of me. I I've been like almost everywhere in Hogwarts and I have never been to the head office. The gargoyle, that's where I need to speak the password. Toujours pure. Seems like a very inconvenient place to have like the room for the headmaster. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Probably. Oh yeah, this ain't nothing like off Harry Potter. Don't mind if I do. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. Yes, ma'am. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Yep. Do I don't want to read this? I don't want to read this. Oh, apothecary receipt. Cure for boils. <laughs> receipt. Hair tonic, mustache wax. Bundium pomade. Cum pearl handled. Back scratcher gold handled. Doxy side. Paid in a very small part. Reminder to be billed to ministry. Is this, is this guy just all about his looks? It sounds like it's just all about his looks. By the way, the headmaster's a freaking That must jerk. be the pedestal. Bye. Is that Azkaban? Am I? Ew, I Professor hate Fitz it. Gerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neem. Neem? You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. This is kind of cool, but also weird at the same time. Is a cloak. Okay. I feel like I'm in the pages. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Excuse me? say do I have to like speak or I don't even got my spell list she really wants me to sneak I think I shall make your way through the town without being seen oh I should have run when I could I'd be free by now You know, I've always this wanted to do chance. a sneaking mission. Coming, Neve. I need to time this just right. Do I? Seems like just right to me. I see a staircase straight ahead. I don't see a staircase. Is this a staircase? Oh, guess so. Oh, that is weird for the texture of the water. Hello there, buddy. Oh yeah, ain't that where the invisibility cloak came from? It's basically Death's cloak. Or part of his outfit, clothing. Hello, hi. 
Go live. Cool. Me too. Ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. But can I climb it though? You gonna let me climb it? Maybe they won't find me, but maybe I should sit here and like just wait for them to all come here before I start making a move. Gosh. They're gone for now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? You're really loud. You stop your mounting. Thank you. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. I'm trying. I'm trying, but you won't let me. Come on. That's where I need to go, but I need oh. to find a way past them. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't come this way. You looking at me? I don't like you looking at me. But can that one turn around? Come on, come on, come on. You, you're being you being too slow. You're being too slow. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Crap. Hmm. <laughs> Your journey has ended. I, I really gotta do that again. What is this? Collect? Wigan Weld. What's a Wigan Weld gonna do me? I Absolutely best move nothing. I can. Neve must be here somewhere. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Well, let me run! Run! That's where I need to go, but. I need to find a way past them. I think those crows are what alerted the, uh, whatever you want to call that thing. Do you move at all? Oh, you do move. Well, that's annoying. Then the crows again. Oh, hello there, buddy. Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Crap. Crap, crap. Stop crawling. The shift key is for running. Why are you halting? Should I have gone in that building that opened up? I mean, that kind of what it insinuates, right? Closed. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. Why do I? Why am I getting wig and welds in here? It does me no good. Everything's an instant death. Uh. Hello, buddy. Now's my chance. Is it? Is this really your chance? Come on, come on, come on, walk faster, walk faster, walk faster. That's the way forward. What, why, why'd we un, uninvisible? Didn't do that. Mysterious cloak. Can this be? I think I'm invisible. Yes. So am I safe to like walk past everything now? Okay. Ooh. They can't see me at all. 
I can get closer to them. Yeah, but we don't this want to get the way closer forward. to them. Finally free. Now, where are you, Neve? Wait, why did you just reveal yourself? You just revealed yourself right at the end. Why? You have a run death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Is this the one that Dumbledore had? Oh, it is. What was the third item? I don't remember. I just remember cloak and wand. I've never felt such power. So it seems now I'm all about spell casting, right? How was that? I'm gonna assume if they touch me, I die. Oh. There we go. Can you kill death? Apparently so. Well, maybe death spawns, I guess. Am I the best? I might be the best. Nobody has ever made it this far besides me. Revelio. So is this like the land of death or something? Hello. Really long drawn out battles, especially like in a game that's supposed to be telling a story. But I guess that's also part of the game, but I don't know. Stone. 
Hey, is this that thing that uh, Sebastian had? Wow, that was a relic of some sort. What do, I, what do I do with the stone? You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. <laughs> She's gone. Neve's dead. Neve's? Dear sweet Neve. Dead. We need to Let try her. May her memory be a treasure to us forever. Uh, are you waiting for me? What's going on? I am so confused. Interact. Oh, wait, is this like a resurrection stone? Me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Uh, 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 okay. Oh, that's But there's your... no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate okay, darkness for, like, does not always mean reservoirs? that you should. So we're making our way to your pensive, right? Remember that as you witness my memory. Your trial's weird. But I kind of like it. It's different. did for your father was remarkable wasn't it and Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves I found a way to contain all of it you haven't stopped goblin silver you spoke to a goblin about this don't worry he has no idea what we're containing we don't know what effect any of this may have the emotions the dark traits you sound the... like Percival and as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw what I did for my father. Onia, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. Uh -oh. Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, it's a door. You're tripping. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. How'd I get here? How'd I, what? Revelio. Okay. App chamber. Hello, Profess. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is. And I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Bacar, that's how you say it. I was the pensive memory stuck trying I just to witnessed. In my head. Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. That is disturbing, though. 
I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, uh, I do. Uh... In fact, <laughs> what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. Yeah, that's what, that's what I agree with, right? What he Nonetheless, said. the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. Shouldn't you been doing it that seems a we long have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. <laughs> Got him drunk. Wow, we got an achievement. So, we made some pro progress today. We've progressed uh, the main quest line. We've finally finished the quest with the Thrustles. We've did another quest with Poppy. I think I like Poppy's story line a little bit more than the rest, honestly. I shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. And as I was gonna say before I got interrupted, Okay, uh, I guess Professor Weasley didn't have nothing to say there. But uh, yeah, also we learned a new curse via Sebastian, our homie. Awesome dude, might be going down the wrong path, but. My mother would like to speak with me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I'm hoping she may be easy. Anyway, it's gonna end the stream here. Thank you all so much for watching. See you next time.